Hello YouTube. It's almost the end of 2018 and I'm going to be doing a repair video on my VCR here. This is a Panasonic VCR from the mid 90's. And you can see the head drum and mechanism. And there's the tape drive. This all works pretty well. However, watch what happens when I try and turn it on. It immediately tries to load the tape. So now it'll load a tape. It's gone into power safe off. So to just reset that, I'll hit the power button. And it'll take the tape in here. So to that end, I'm going to hit fast forward on this tape here. And when it gets to the very end, you'll see what it's not going to do. Almost there. It does not auto stop, it's still trying to fast forward. And so now it's given up. So it's doing something here. So now what could be causing this? And there it goes again, it's trying to reload the tape. So now what could be causing this? I've actually had this happen to me on a couple of different VCRs that I've had over the years. And it's a pretty simple problem and it's a pretty simple fix. So anyway, right here where my finger is pointed, this is the LED sensor that lets the deck know that a tape is, in, is inserted or if it's come to one end or the other. Now this is always supposed to be on, and so I'm, even though it's out of focus, you'll still be able to see what's going to happen here. If I just wiggle this around... I had to get on angle with it. But I think you kind of see it flashing there. You can just kind of barely see it flashing. There it goes a little better. That LED is supposed to be on and it's supposed to be flashing purple. But it's not because it is loose wherever it is soldered into the board. So I'll have to get this apart and uh, find where it is. Okay, so I was able to get this back cover off of here. And now right here where the screwdriver is pointed are the solder terminals on the circuit board for the LED sensor light. And come on camera, you can focus. Alright, so there that's the best view that I can get. There you see some some dry solder joints. So I'm gonna go get the, the gun and I'm going to reflow those. Alright, let's give this a whirl, a whirl here. I'll get the... I probably need to like clean off this. I need to clean off the tip of my gun here. Okay. And I melted some of the plastic. That's alone there.
And actually, I think I bridged that. Unfortunately, I don't have any solder wick. I bridged the gap between the two. Between the two terminals, so when I plug that in, it's going to short out. So I'm going to have to improvise here. Okay, I'm back. So what happened was, is down here, I put just a little bit too much solder on and it bridged the gap between the two connectors. So I've just got some speaker wire here and I'm just going to use that as a solder wick. Getting some solder on there now. I'll put a multi. Uh, let's see how that looks. I think that's. No, that's still bridged. Suck up some solder. Oh, that looks a little better. And so what I'll do now is I'll probe it with a meter and see. See if I don't have a short here. Okay, so yeah. If I go across it like this, I get 0.83 on the diode check, and if I go short, I get 0.364, so I think that this is ready to go. Okay, we're back, and so if I plug this thing in, hopefully it will just come on and not attempt to, uh, to load the tape on. We had, uh, we had head spin for just a second. And I will actually turn this off, and we'll see if we get the little purple glow from the there it is. Oh yeah, it's, it's blinking. And if I turn it on, that's going to give me the select language thing here. Push channel up for English. But, as you can see here, 
I put a tape in. If I hit fast forward, this time hopefully it should stop, and it did. So yeah, this thing is definitely uh, this thing is definitely fixed. Boom. So yeah, this has been kind of a uh, as you can see, the vacuum fluorescent display on this VCR is pretty pretty well dead. You can kind of see that it says play, but yeah, this has been kind of a ongoing project of mine for the last couple of years. On again, off again has been dubbing my VHS tapes over to digitize them so that I've got them forever and ever in a medium that I can control and forever have, but that's a little more problem that's cropped up recently with this VCR. It's from 1996, so it's pretty old, but it still works perfectly fine, so... I've actually had this occur to me before with my Samsung deck where some LED sensors got dry, uh dry solder joints and because of the dry solder joints it would not uh, it wouldn't play because it couldn't sense that the spools were moving so yeah that's just one little thing to kind of keep in mind about if you're got an old VCR is to watch those dry solder joints on parts because they can mess you up like uh, like they did for me here so I'm gonna leave you here and uh, this will probably be my final video for 2018 so have a happy 2019 everybody thanks for watching and please like comment and subscribe